Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we'll be looking at two energies for the month of November 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. In this video, I'll be looking at your love energies between you and your person, your far past, your present and your future energies, okay? So let's get started for you, my dear Taurus. And as you all know that this is going to be a general reading, it may or may not resonate with all of you. So take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? okay. Your overall energy for the reading is uh, Devil Taurus. Um, let me just clarify why this devil is here. What exactly the devil card is trying to tell us. Okay, We have seven of cups, four of pentacles and a magician. You know, I really feel Taurus that uh, somewhere uh, this is more... Uh, more toxic than it looks it is a kind of manifestation we can say or it is a kind of addiction you have got with your person that somewhere you are so much addicted towards each other that you both are not ready to let go of what the other person has exactly the, the kind of negativity the other person has towards you so this is something which is coming up for me in my card it is quite coming up that with this seven of cups i really feel that they are looking at other options as well along with that trying to show you that no i am there with you forever see i have so much i am unable to let you go but uh, toxicity and uh, multiple options at the same time i feel okay uh, in the past, we have nine of swords, eight of pentacles, and the ten of pentacles, Taurus. Hmm. I think you have already told them, uh, to, told them that what what are your likes and what are your dislikes, and they literally worked on that in the past. But um, and you both really worked out in your relationship also in the past. Okay, no matter how much of negativity was there, but still somehow one person was quite looking patient towards the other and you know you were really giving your best to the person to your partner Taurus in the present we have ace of pentacles seven of wands and ten of wands yeah I think uh, you are still ready to make that bond a better bond with each other um, I think you have stopped even looking the negative side at all. You are just looking at the positive side, which is a good thing. But if that negativity is turning into toxicity, so you really have to see. You cannot just, uh, you know, you cannot just deny the fact that this person is not there for you. Okay. Um. I feel that this person is pushing you now and um, trying to push you away from them and uh, they feel that you are a responsibility that you are a duty for them now and they are not ready for that uh, love affair towards you this is strictly for those people who are actually going through this kind of a situation if this situation does not match with you please do not try to make it your because this reading looks especially for those people who are who got involved into something um, toxic really toxic and not even realizing that you were involved into something negative in the future we have page of wands two of wands and the ten of cups Let me just clarify the ten of cups first. Ten of cups looks very beautiful. See, I think that you are 
even after so much of toxicity you are looking for a committed relationship committed bond with this person and you are ready to get married to them okay if you both are already married definitely you you are stuck in right now with this person but if you both are not married you are still are ready for uh, something bigger something you know huge with this person even after knowing that this person is cheating this person is getting along with other people you look very much intimidated by this person and after that you know you are just entering something which is not at all good for you which is coming up in the cards and um, it's more like it's more that you are going to get a heartbreak again you know entering into something where you are going to get a heartbreak again this is something which is coming up i don't know even you are uh, are you even ready for this all of this taurus or not please do not try to make your life a hell because it does not look so beautiful the way it is looking or the way you want it okay maybe you are in that dream world maybe you are in that uh, situation that um, you know i was with this person for such a long time and now i cannot let go of this person please do not try to make it your uh, try to make your life a hell with this person is there anything else yeah a narcissist quality the emperor and the empress it's a very opposite energy for both of you your person is more like somebody who is just selfish a narcissist just thinking about themselves they don't even think about you in a way you want them to think about you and you being the empress you are just being you know over caring over loving wanting to give everything to this person and um, being together with this person forever having children with this person i don't know your uh, energies still look so much of giving kind of energies you know but the receiving part is all ended it's all finished there is no receiving from this person i see so much of judgment from this person so much of uh, dominance from this person i feel you uh, this person also feels that you know you both should not be together honestly but uh, somehow you want things to happen because they were good they were fine fine you were and you were in your comfort zone before and that's why you just want things to be there again you know this is that feeling taurus please try to make things better for yourself okay So yeah that's all from my side Taurus I hope this helps and we will meet you in the next video till then bye